morning. Welcome back to Half Fast 719. Anyway, welcome back to Half Fast 719. <clears throat> Went to the bike shop. They did have a nut. So, seven bucks or eight bucks. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just drink some lemonade. Lemonade jacks me up. <clears throat> Rinse. Bought a bunch of butt plugs. So we got three of them, two for the kids' bike, and uh, one for my bike. And this stupid <clears throat> Motion Pro Seal Mate, it's supposed to clean your seals. If you can't see that, that's eight dollars for this stupid thing. Eight dollars. Jeez, that's a lot of money. <clears throat> For a stupid piece of plastic. It's better be some special engineered plastic. <clears throat> Alright, got that. Three butt plugs. Call them butt plugs, but they're wash plugs. Um, went and got some paint. Went to AAA. Huge line. Uh, around the building, another huge line. <clears throat> wherever else it was um yeah it was bad there's a lot of people so we're gonna try to shoot for Monday or next Friday or something <clears throat> went to my brother-in-law's house these are oil filters <clears throat> pack five oil filters I think they're for the bike he gave me some levers. <clears throat> Man, excuse me. Um, bunch of bolts <clears throat> for this. Some grips. I told him I don't. I don't really want the grips, but whatever. I'll put them in my box just in case. Drain plug washers. Always good to have some of those, especially since we're going to be draining the. <clears throat> Oil a ton on this, on that bike, on the tranny side anyway. Um, I don't know, this looks kind of new. That drop right there. But it could just be chain lube. Kind of looking like chain lube. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know. I see the drip right here, but I'm trying to see where it's coming from. It looks like it comes from back there. Hmm. No, you guys tell me. What do you guys see? I can't really see down there. <clears throat> I see it's wet above the shifter. <clears throat> yeah, it might need a uh, seal. This uh, gear seal right in there. But other than that, that's the only new leak I see. <clears throat> um, and I think it's because it's getting warm. So, anyway. Yeah, I was looking at this. Trying to figure out what it's for. He said it's for this bike. But I don't know. Anyway, looks like I got another package. From the UPS. So, let me, uh, let me get out there and get this package. And I'll let you guys know what it is. Alright, good morning guys, YouTube, people, world, everywhere, wherever. Um, just get something off my chest real quick. Basically, when the kid is helping, I don't like to film. Because um, I don't know, maybe I'm a little nervous to film in front of him. Even though I think he watches my videos. Um... But yeah, I don't like to film in front of them. 
basically is what it comes down to. And, uh, yeah, so when he's out here working, I put the camera down because he's out here working with me, helping me out, or helping him out. So don't get the wrong idea that he doesn't want to do stuff to his bike or he doesn't want to do stuff to his truck. Nobody said anything. Nobody's commented, like, why doesn't your kid do it or anything to that effect. But I'm just letting you guys know that a lot of times he's at work. I get home earlier than him, about two hours earlier. So I get home, get the parts. I just do it. Um, and I film. And I guess he's not in the way. But then I can film. So, like, when he comes home... Which is why I didn't have an outro the other day, because he got home, and I was just like, boop, camera died. I didn't want to change the battery. And uh, he was home, he was outside talking to me. So talking and working, <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, we're just, who knows what we're talking about. Um, but it doesn't need to be on video. So that's why the camera goes off a lot of times. So, and yesterday he decided to, well, I told him he needs to. We did take the bikes for a ride. Bikes for a ride. We did go out and ride for like maybe 25, 30 minutes. Came back, dumped the tranny fluid. Um, went for another ride, dumped the engine and tranny fluid. The that ride was probably like maybe 30 minutes, just to get it through all the gears and get it all hot. And uh, bike bike's got a lot of power. Um, I think it's got more power than than this bike here. Um, but as you see, I have this in my hand, spark plug. So I'm going to be doing spark plug change, obviously. Um, I got a new one here. It is the same spark plug number. M-A-R-9-A-9, M-A-R-9-A-9-S. So it doesn't look that bad. These these spark plugs are really long. Just a lot of threads in a tight little spot. So these are um, NGK laser iridiums. So do a side by side. I just don't want to drop it. So anyway, so it's it's probably due for one since this kid rode this bike. I mean, he didn't just ride the bike. He rode this bike. Um, but anyway, let me get to the graphics. It's kind of hard to see because they're stacked right by each other. So that's the old seat with all the, you know, from the Adidas, basically, edition package. But it kind of blends in with these. So kind of like a star and exploding. I don't know. Anyway, graphics came went on really good, really well. Um, some of the lines... Like uh, right in here, they didn't they didn't include for the gap, or maybe the other side. I think the other side the gap is like really far, so these lines right there are pretty far apart. So as you can see, I tried to line. This is my side. <clears throat> so graphics kit came with the gas tank, the radiator shroud, air box sticker rear fender and swing arm and it came with the uh fork guards too and a front fender this is what you get for a front fender is this little tiny thing so we cleaned it all according to their specs which was wipe it all down with the rag and then using we sprayed brake cleaner on the rag and cleaned the plastics where the stickers are gonna be stuck um and after we got them all stuck, stuckered, where they were good and where we wanted them. So as you can see, it was that side that the gap was bigger. This side, the gap was a lot narrower um, for the lines. But I think it's okay. Um, anyway, uh, and then I went through with the heat gun and heated them all up. I heat everything up. Um, with the heat gun, got it really hot, so that this way the stickers are basically bonded really, really, really good. Um, levers are actually pretty cool. 
these are 18 bucks so I ordered a set for my bike however my bike was a little different um, they didn't have any black they had gold which I really wanted to get gold but then in my mind I'm like nah I can't get gold so I ended up just getting the anodized red that'll turn pink in a week um, however his clutch is really really stiff so um, what we ended up doing or what I ended up doing is <clears throat> inside there that little piece that's called the clutch clutch arm lift or clutch rod lift so it pivots it pivots it's got a little cutout in it a square squared off cut and that bar that uh, tube that pushes the clutch it pivots and pushes that so they say that if it's marred up it will want to bind so I ordered one of those and they say that <clears throat> that uh, rod that goes through there it's a dual purpose so you can just take it and flip it around if this end is mashed up or mushroomed or anything or any damage you just take it and flip it that way and you can use it that way and if it is marred up or mashed up a little bit you'll just want to take a file or some sandpaper and sand down the rounded edge where it goes into that thrust washer um yeah bike shop did have a nut nuts good bars are coming um i ordered a clutch cable because there is a kink in this cable right right in there it's hard to see but it's right there so order a clutch cable clutch cable we'll do that so that means the tranny side will get drained again <laughs> so but it's coming out clean it's really clean like uh after the second so the first oil change we started it ran it on the stand and ran it through some gears and drained it then the second one we i went and rode it down and up and down the street i went and rode the bike up and down the street with no no plastics no seat nothing on it um just to see what it would do and uh ran good came back drained the fluid um and the fluid wasn't as bad as the first time when we just ran it on the stand and then we went and rode it so it's got four four oil changes in the tranny side in less than probably an hour of riding so anyway uh yeah, so I'm going to go throw this little spark plug in real quick. We got to run to Home Depot and, uh, yeah, just, just doing a little tune-up on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. See you guys on the next video later.